Hi, this is Javi Rappaport. I'm so glad you're here. It's Torah wisdom to go again. So we say seeing is believing. I'd like to challenge that. Really, if you see something, do you need to believe it? This week's Torah portion, Moshe implores God, Va'es Hanan, and I prayed over and over and over again, beseeching God to allow me to cross over the Jordan and enter the land of Israel and see the land. Moshe, as a leader of the Jewish nation, wanted to impart his spiritual eyes so the Jewish people, when entering the land of Israel, could perceive godliness easily, even when encountering all the materiality of toiling the physical land. This generation didn't experience all the miracles of the desert firsthand and divine inspiration and revelation. For them, it was hearsay. And Moshe thought, if I, as a leader, go into the Holy Land, I'll be able to share my eyes, my spiritual eyes, so, they, so that they can perceive godliness so much more easily, almost like a first-hand eyewitness. See, when we see something, we know, we know what we saw. It's indisputable. No one can take it away from us. I saw it with my own eyes. When we hear something, somebody can challenge us, especially if it's a few times, then we begin to second guess ourselves. Was that really the way it happened? Did I miss a few details? Moshe is refused. His request is refused and he does not enter the land of Israel. Instead, he says to the Jewish nation, listen to the decrees and laws that I'm teaching you. Shema el ha-chukim ve'el ha-mishpatim. You know, there's actually an advantage of hearing over seeing. Get this. When you see something, it's true, that is so real, I saw it, and nobody can tell me otherwise but it's a certainty that it was, was imposed on me. I didn't work for it. There was no effort involved. And so as time goes on, it diminishes, especially if it's not right in front of my eyes. But if I have a conviction of truth that I explored, that I've toiled, I've perused, I've heard, it becomes an integral part of me. It's something I can perceive with such clarity, I can see it. And then believing becomes seeing. Our call to action, listen, hear the whispers, the nuances of God in your every day. And you know what? You will truly be able to see him. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember, every total lesson is talking personally to me and to you.